Jake here from Max UAV. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do a uh, antenna modification on the DJI Phantom 3 uh, Pro Advanced and Phantom 4 transmitter. Um, this is for the custom uh, cables I had made for the clean install. Um, let's see if you can see that. These cables will go through the stock antenna hole, so there's no drilling required with these cables. A um, few things to note is make sure you have the right tools to do this. So let's go ahead and get started. Move the camera closer. On the back of the transmitter, you got these rubber dampers here. You got one there, there, and you got these two large ones right here. These just peel off. So what I do is I stick my fingernails basically underneath the big one and kind of pry up on them. And you got this basically double-sided tape which is almost like a glue. Um, it either comes off with these dampers or it stays on there. Um, it doesn't matter. Um, And then what I like to do is I like to take the, and cut across in these holes so I can easily get a screwdriver in there. Do that to both sides. And take your screwdriver. It's got to be a pretty deep screwdriver. I have this uh, uh, screwdriver from iFixit. And it's not quite deep enough, so I have to have a separate one. Also, while I'm doing this, it's important to note you should never turn your transmitter on when you don't have uh, the antenna hooked up. You, you risk frying your uh, Wi-Fi board. And yeah, see this double-sided tape stuck down there, and we want to get that off there put it back on the damper it's almost like doing surgery also um, I use a microfiber cloth to do this on any cloth is fine I just use it to catch screws from rolling off the table Okay, once you have those four screws out, you got four more screws right here, right there, 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 and there. And I take this little uh, tool right here and I just kind of stick that under the plate here, and it comes right out. Inside here you got this com board ribbon cable and this little flap here. You flip that backwards and then that cable will come right out of there. I use two fingernails, just kind of stick it under that little flap there. Just be gentle with it, pry it up. And then I take this and just kind of rock this back and forth until it comes out. All right. And I just take my hands like this and kind of rest my wrist on there and kind of pull up with the handle here. And you got to be careful when you're doing this because this is still attached right there. So make sure you disconnect that. I'll just set the, the back piece to the side. <clears throat> Let me switch out my heads here. I'll use a small Phillips head for the rest of these screws. So you got one there, you got one inside there, and you got one right there. You want to remove all three of those. And this is where your uh, where your antenna connections hook up to the transmitter. 
And I take this, uh, I don't even know what this tool is called, but just kind of stick it in there. Kind of pry that out. Same thing on the other side. Now this is probably the most dangerous part right here. Um, some people choose to cut these and not mess with the silicone here. I choose to just slice through the silicone and pull the cables out. Get a sharp knife. Let me move the light here. Hopefully that helps. You just want to cut right above where that wire is. You got to be careful because there's a ribbon cable under there. You don't want to cut that. Let's go ahead and slice through the silicone here. And then if you get it all the way, you should be able to just pull these out, just like that. Okay. You want to take these switches off. This just basically lifts up from here and pulls out. And there's a ribbon cable attached to that, so be gentle. Same thing with the other side. Now you can pull these wires through, and these can get caught sometimes, so you might get lucky and it'll just pull all the way through, or it might snag on something, you just kind of stick a piece, or stick this down in there and kind of help guide it. This other side's pretty easy. Just be careful of the ribbon cables. There we go. Okay. Now there's really no clean way to get these stock antennas out. You can either use pliers and try and pinch that so it'll slide out. I think the best method is just to cut these edges off here. Again, a sharp knife helps a lot here. If you can get the cut started, you can usually get the rest off with pliers. Once you get a little bit of that lip off there, you might be able to just pinch it and pull it through. There we go. All right. Hard part's over. So with these cables, um, the first set that I got, they didn't put the uh, washers in the right order. The lock washer should go on first. So you get the lock washer there and then you got a regular washer. 
So you want to put the lock washer on first with the uh, edges pointing up, like, the, like so. Go ahead and stick that in the hole. And you put the regular washer on, and then then the nine. And I have this little wrench. I'm not sure if it tells you what size it is or not, but I'll have all the sizes in the description. So just screw that on. And it doesn't have to be too tight. If you start tightening down on it, you might break something. Just nice and snug. One thing to note is uh, you want this flat edge pointing straight out that way. It gives the best fitment when you put that uh, switch back on. You see that little uh, plastic edge right there you want to push that around the head of that screw right there so you just push it and then go ahead and put the uh, screw back in okay Again, lock washer goes on first. Stick that through the hole. Regular washer. Nut. Sorry, I'm kind of hiding it there, but it's hard to do this and wash the camera at the same time. And you want the cable resting on top of this little ledge here. Let me see. You don't want it pushing against it, you want it sitting on top. connect this. So you want to connect this side to the far right side connection over here. You hear that snap and you know you're good. And this one and it snapped on so we're good. And this is how I route my cables. This one over here, you want to go around this. Make sure you get the cable out of the way. And you want to stay on the outside of these. So you get it over top of that and you put the uh, back piece back on and screw it down. You'll probably notice that the uh, there's some resistance in this knob right there. And with this one, it's kind of loop that around just like that go ahead and put this switch back on make sure you get the right cable or right screws the, this screw right here is different from the, the screws that are on the back of the uh, transmitter. Yeah, my camera stopped recording. Uh, 
and test these knobs out. Make sure there's no resistance. This one's good. Um, before you put the back piece back on, this ribbon cable right here likes to come out when you're messing with the stock antenna wire or pulling it through that glue. And this controls your uh, gimbal pitch. So double check to make sure that ribbon cable is still in there. We'll go ahead and put the back piece back on. Make sure you connect the power cable. Make sure you get this screw back here. Also make sure you don't get this cable uh, you want to make sure it's tucked in there. If you put this on and then these cables are in the way of the screw you might puncture the cable with the screw so make sure that's tucked in there. And straighten the comm cable out, the ribbon cable. Finger, stick your stick your finger in there and help guide the uh, com cable back through there. Back on there, and then I use both my fingers to help guide this back in there. And I use. This tool again to help, like push that back in there. This white line here, I don't know if you can see in the camera, but you'll see it when you do it. Um, it doesn't have to go all the way in there to where you can't see anymore. Just right up to it. You can see it on here. And then make sure you push this flap back down. And now we're ready to put the screws back in. All right, now you put these rubber dampers back on. There is a difference between these two. It's got this edge on there that lines up with these uh, little buttons on the back. So you know which one it goes to. And this tape is pretty strong. Um, you don't have to replace it after you remove these. Just get it on there, line it up, and push it down. You shouldn't have any problem with them. And that's it. Again, make sure everything is nice and flush. Sometimes this piece sticks, it has a small gap in there, you just gotta push right there. It'll help snap it back in place. Nice and solid connections, and that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. If you have questions, just let me know. Um, some parts of the video didn't make sense, so I'll be happy to help out. Have a good one.